Raw materials are essential to securing the transition to green energy technologies, growth and sustainable development. Daniel Peterson says Hema Cement has provided sustainable waste management solutions to industries by converting waste from other industries to energy. For me it's a revolution. We are uh, at our group now um, going into um, construction waste. So what does it mean construction waste? Is what is around us one day will not be uh, utilized buildings. Okay? This is material. And this is resources. Do we need to mine? Can we take the waste to have raw material to make concrete? To make cement. The commercial director Hima Cement, Israel Tinkasimile, says Hima Cement has tried to simplify the way they do business with their customers through digitalization. Challenges to come up with new solutions, and I think we have done our very best to meet the mark. So, every one of you that has come to us with a need and with a request for a tailor made solution, I think we have more than delivered. And I'm not talking about just the people in this room. I'm talking about everywhere within the East African region. Israel says the company has impacted so many lives by investing in the agriculture sector, education, among others. He thanked their customers for challenging them to come up with new solutions which have enabled the company to spread to northern Tanzania. Hima Cement has introduced innovative solutions and products used in construction areas that can reduce sulfate attack, among others. You no, know, cement is one of the biggest emitters of carbon dioxide. As a matter of fact, if you look at, uh, for example, ordinary Portland cement, a ton of ordinary Portland cement to produce it, you produce about 850 kilograms of carbon dioxide, which goes into the environment. So as Hema Cement, we've come up with innovative uh, products and solutions that reduce uh, the CO2 that is emitted, whereas uh, giving you products that are of the right quality and uh, performance uh, to ensure that the building, if you're building, say, a, a house or a uh, or uh, an infrastructure project, the net CO2 footprint that uh, is emitted due to the structure that you're putting up is limited. It has also invested heavily in solar energy to run their plants so that Kaye UBC News.